Greetings, friend. I will show you how to solve this puzzle from the Wild West Pack. This is Quarter Spin by Keen Lux. And I'll give you all my Sudoku tips, tricks, and strategies as I do it. Click below if you want to give it a go. And with that, it's solving time. Okay, so I'm looking at the ones here. Two spots for a one right there. I'll do a little Snyder marking. Yeah, the two, two spots for a two here. Uh, I'm also looking here, three, three, uh, two spots for a three right there. The four coming up, four across, three spots for four. That doesn't help. Uh, two spots for four right there. And two spots for four right here. Okay, all right. So I do see something here with the eights. See how this eight's coming down right there and the eight's cutting across row nine. So there's only two spots for an eight here in block eight. And now it becomes a pointing pair. So that you cannot have an eight in any of those two spots. So I'll mark this as two spots where an eight can be. Okay, five and five, five. I'm looking kind of out at the fives. Uh, it looks like the fives are also a pointing pair. See how this five cuts down column two, this five cuts across. And so the fives are limited these two spots down here in block seven. So the five, five, so now the fives are limited these two spots up here in block one. All right, keep going here at six and a six. Uh, two spots for six right there. So some restrictions going on with the sixes. Three and the three. And the three means that threes are in these two spots. So the threes are also a pointing pair. So three can't be in either of those two spots. That is very interesting. Okay, I'm going to wonder how I can use that to my advantage. And then I think I see, yep, so eight, nine come up here. And look at this eight, nine right there. So the eights and nines are limited to those two spots. So that is a hidden pair. See how that eight, nine, eight, nine go? So when I'm doing cross hatching, I will look to see if there's another uh, digit that is along the one I'm looking at. And so that way you can spot some of these hidden pairs. So this is great because this is going to build quite a bit of restriction now here up here in block one. Uh, so what other cells are feeding into? It looks like just a two, five. Or the one's already a part of it. Eh, really can't do much else with that at this time. But I bet that's going to come in handy later on in this puzzle. Okay, another thing too, I see a pointing pair of nines up here in column nine. So the nine cuts down and the nine cuts up column eight and cross row three, which means now that the nines are limited to these two spots here in block nine. A nine could not be in that spot anymore because of that. And I don't think I've actually solved a cell yet. Wow, I, maybe I'm just missing something here. I feel like there's got to be a some way to solve a cell or two, but I'll, I'll keep uh, checking this out. Looking at the six, two, three, threes, three there. Huh, okay, something peculiar going on. Also here, okay, I got two spots for two. Again, scenario notation, only two cans available in a three by three block. We'll make those marks. And in case we solve one of these cells, the other one we can solve immediately for that, that candidate is important. Okay. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else going on. So I feel like we're kind of a little bit stuck here. As we're trying to figure out what we can solve. And... So I got to think, what was the intention here with Keen Lux? With Keen Lux, when they came up with this puzzle, what is it they want you to see? The thing I'm noticing, though, is this one, two, three, four. And then you have this one, two, three, four here. And you have this one, two, three, four. I know Keen Lux likes to put things in these outer columns. That puts a lot of restrictions along this row five. So... Where can a one, two, three, four reside in row five here? Well, they can't be in this cell. They can't be in these three cells and they can't be in this cell, which tells me one, two, three, four have got to be in those four cells. That is a hidden quad. Oh, wow. Which means the one, two, three, four, there might be other Candidates you think would go there, but the one, two, three, four, that's the only four spots. Can you see how that works? How they can't be here, they can't be in these three spots, and they can't be here. That is so cool. 
All right, and we can mark this down a little bit. That can't be a four and then or a three. And then this can't be a three. And then these two can't be a two. Okay, which means now the five, six, seven, eight, nine are limited to those spots. That can't be a nine. Uh, this can't be a six or a nine. This can't be an eight. This can't be a five, and this can't be a five either. Okay, uh, I will tell you, hidden quad wise, uh, there is another puzzle I did by Keen Lux. Reminds me, but it's a little harder. I'm gonna put it at the end. So you gotta go to the end, watch this whole video, go to the end, click on the other solve, and, and I think you'll love it just as much as I'm loving this. And we're not done yet. I mean, we just found this hidden quad, which is pretty spectacular and what can we do about it that's the question and i think the answer is something to do with these nines see how this nine cuts across row four and then the nine cuts up here where can a nine be now here in block four because obviously what king Lex did is wanted us to look at restrictions in here and it looks like the nines can only be in those two spots now so these nines are a pointing pair right because they can't be here or here or here anymore that means if this is a pointing pair, this can no longer be a nine. That has to be an eight. And this is going to be your nine. And then now we can solve this for a nine. And we have made some progress. We're solving some cells in this puzzle. I love it. All right. Let's get rid of that eight right there. Two spots for an eight here. I don't think we're done, though. I think we still have some more to do. So please keep watching. I want to see what happens next. Okay, we got the eight and the nine. I got the eights there. I got the nines. Got these two nines. Where the nines can be in three spots in block five, so that doesn't help us. Three spots here in block eight, that doesn't help us. And still those two same spots. Okay, so we made some restrictions here in block four. What about... Oh, and actually, we can now solve for an eight, right? Because we see these two eights. Where can an eight be here in block four? It's got to be right there. All right, so we can solve that. That's great. And then what's remaining here? One, two, three, four. So we're going to have five, six, seven, nine. So that'd be a six, seven, nine. And this would be, looks like five, six, seven. Okay. So I'll finish out the rest of this quad area. Doesn't quite give us the full solve there. That's not a six. But let's look over here in block six now, right? Because we now we have more restrictions here. What? And I think, you see how this nine uh, gave us restrictions on row four in the block? Look at this five, how it cuts into block six via row six. And you got this five here. So where can a five be here? Where can it be? It looks like, because it can't be here, here anymore, and it can't be here because of this five, that a five's now a pointing pair right there. So if this is a pointing pair, this could only be five. But this cell right here, can no longer be a five. And so if this can't be a five, five here, five cut across here, it looks like this is gonna be a five. If that's a five, I just displaced this Snyder marking, so that's gotta be a two, that's gotta be an eight, that's gotta be a nine, okay. And then it looks like we have a one and seven left. I see a one right there, so here's your one, and here's your seven, which means now this is a five, and we can get rid of the five mark there. And we have a six, seven, nine, and a six seven awesome look at that look at all that solving we just made okay uh looking up here one five one five uh actually oh, oh this right here is a one five hidden pair nice okay uh, i didn't see that earlier but that's helpful for us because now it just puts a lot of restriction here and because of these one fives uh that actually can help us solve for a five because we know the five's got to be up here in block two we can solve that for a five okay good Nice job. All right. I like finding. So what leaves, what does this leave us up with? A three, six, seven, it looks like. So three, six, seven. Okay. Can I reduce that any further? I don't see that I can reduce that any further right now. All right. And then what's across here? It looks like this is also a three, six, seven. Remember, because this one five is a uh, hidden pair, and one and five can't be in any other spot. So these three spots got to be three, six, seven. 
And then we can take away the six from right there because it's this six. All right, so that's kind of your naked triple going on. Three, six, seven here. Okay, what can we do now? One, two, three, four. We get rid of this seven, and it looks like we have a five, six, eight. So that can only be a six or an eight. And this can no longer be an eight, so that's going to be a, looks like a five or a six. Okay, great. And so I want to kind of look where we have res restrictions, right? Let's look along, along row seven here. You're looking for a one, seven, nine. I got the nine right there, so that means nine has to be in this spot, which makes this a one, seven. Great. Now, this is a one, seven. What does that do to this seven? Because seven can't be anymore, right? Because the seven's got to be part of this naked pair. So that's now got to be a six. And we have a seven, nine. Uh, naked pair right there and then this spot right here because the one seven the five six looks like this is now a two three so this is a two three i'll get rid of the marks and this is going to help us out right because now what are these threes doing they're acting as a and the twos are actually acting as a pointing pair so this can no longer be a two right because the twos have to be in block seven for column two so this is now going to be a one Great, so we found the one of the one, two, three, four. We can get rid of all of those ones now. And this is a three, four, it means this has to be your two and that has to be your four. And wow, we can also solve this for a six. And I was just wanting to come up here and eliminate the three from this spot, but I did so much more. I don't think we're done yet. We're gonna keep, keep watching because I don't think we are done with this puzzle. Okay, one, two, three, four. It looks like a five, six, seven cutting across. Can't be a five. So that's a six, seven. And that'd be a five, six, seven. Okay. And then let's look. What else have we solved here that's going to create more, what I call more restrictions here? We've got a one and one. We've got this one. So actually, we can solve for a one now here in block six. Okay, so let's look right here. It looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. This has to be a seven, which makes this a six, that's a five, and that's a seven. And so what's left here? An eight and a nine. We can do the nine here, the seven here. This has to be an eight. All right, and so now since we solved this eight, this has to be an eight right there. Nice. Okay, an eight, 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 eight. Uh, only one space left for an eight along column. Eight there. So that's eight. That's going to be your six, and that's going to be your eight right there. Nice. Okay, so this is going to be a three, four to finish up this naked pair. And this looks like it could be a three, four, seven. I'll make that mark. Let's go in here, get rid of these eights. Uh, you got the seven, so this has got to be your five. So these can't be sevens anymore. This can't be a five. So you have a six, nine, but you got the nine right there. So there's your six and there's your nine. See how we kind of clean that up? Okay. And so let's keep on going. We're, we're getting and we're making a lot of great progress. Love it. As you can see, you can get through this puzzle. So what's going on down here? You're looking for a two, three, seven. The seven can't be there. It can't be there. This has to be your seven. So this would be a two, three. Okay, great. And then what do you have down here? It looks like a one, two, one, two, three, four, one. Okay, so looks like that's two, three, four, one, four, and one, two, three. Yeah, we can do better now, I'm sure. Okay, here we go. Because of the five, that's a one, that's a five. All right, now with this one and this one, that's actually going to be your one right there. So we can do better. There's your four, and now we can get rid of that four. Okay, probably should have looked at that a little first, and I wouldn't have had to make all these extra marks. But we are getting close. Let's look across the top here. Solve that for seven. That can no longer be a seven. Okay, uh, three, four, six, seven along here. Looks like that's three, four, six. All right. And then 
what do we got here? Two, three. This is going to have to be a two, three. Okay. Eh, let's just look at this full house here, right? Right here. Uh, what's the missing cell? We're missing a seven. That would have been a better place to kind of start right there. Because now with that seven, you can get rid of this seven. And two, three, four, six. We're looking now at well, two, three, four. Let's do better. Do the six means that's got to be a three. And we can get rid of that three right there. And so this is going to be your two. There's your three. There's your two. There's your three. There's your two. Got this one right there. Here's your seven. And here's your one. All right. There's your six. There's your seven. Always want to try to see where's the easiest place to kind of get those solves going. Three, four, three, four. Resolving everything over here on the right side of the grid. We got the four and a six, this has to be your three, which makes this a six, and this would be a four. Well, if you enjoyed this puzzle by Keenlux, try out this other one, the Big Keen. I'll put a link right here. It's a little bit tougher. You want to check it out. Don't forget to buy me a coffee link. Thank you so much, Keenlux, for letting me feature your puzzles on this channel. Thank you so much for watching.